our work I'll be talking about is Winslow Homer's The Fog Warning, aka Halibut Fishing, of 1885. This artwork shows a fisherman in a rowboat that is tipped forward with a large halibut or two in the foremost part of the boat. The fisherman is looking out to the ship he needs to get back to, and as he sees the ship, he looks up to see the fog rolling in. If he does not reach the ship in time, the ship may be lost in the fog. Like in Homer's painting, The Lifeline, we have this moment of danger, a moment where we just don't know what is going to happen. Homer doesn't allow us to see his face in, in any detail, just as he did in The Lifeline painting, which disables us to use any distinguishing of emotion on his face. At the same time, this ambiguity in his emotions opens up the painting to individual interpretation. This painting also shows Homer's Darwinian style of painting in the ferocity of the sea. The fact that the ship most likely cannot see the man in his rowboat because he is too far away and of the looming darkness that is the fog. In this painting, we get the same sense of man's struggle against nature for survival as portrayed by Homer's Darwinian style. We see that Homer carefully uses his brushstrokes to convey frightening waves, and it gives us the feeling of the splash of the sea. If you look closely, you can see his contrast of white brushstrokes and dark areas around it that gives us the illusion of death. Normally, when one thinks of a painting of the sunset, you picture warm colors and a happy mood throughout, but not in this case. It's interesting to see how Homer transforms a scene that would normally be warm and inviting into a dark and menacing scene that evokes fear. The sea is normally portrayed in American painting as calm with a mirror effect that reflects images off of it, while in Homer's case, he uses the sea as a space for drama. The Agnew Clinic was painted by Thomas Eakins in the spring of 1889 by Thomas Eakins. It portrayed Dr. Hayes Agnew at the University of Pennsylvania Medical Department. During the year of 1889, Dr. Hayes Agnew was retiring and his medical students paid $750 to Eakins to paint this picture. Thomas Eakins, being the guy that he is, wanted to paint him in a scientific realism. And we saw that when, in the Agnew Clinic, compared to the Gross Clinic, that the Agnew painting was more bright and lit because Thomas Eakins wanted to emphasize the antiseptic surgery, where you can see Dr. Agnew and his surgical assistants wearing all white and we see surgical instruments cased. When we compare this scene to the Gross Clinic, Dr. Gross was wearing street clothing and there was blood on his, blood on his hands and on his scalpel and so as for his assistants. And when I look at the painting, I think that the dark background was more of a darker time. And so when we go 14 years later to the Agnew Clinic, we see that times has changed and people are now aware of hygiene. We look at the Agnew Clinic, we notice that he switched from a vertical view in the Gross Clinic to a horizontal view in the Agnew Clinic on canvas. One of the controversies with the Agnew Clinic was that Thomas Eakins decided to portray a half-naked woman in a room full of men, even though they were doctors. One of the things that I thought cool is if you look in the lower right-hand corner, you see that Thomas Eakins placed himself in his own artwork.